10 reasons why King Charles won't be in the throne for long. Popularity. Prince Charles is the longest serving heir apparent in British history, but he hasn't enjoyed great popularity with people since more private details about his marriage to Diana, Princess of the People, became public knowledge. One 2018 poll showed that the popularity of the man who is now king is decreasing, while a recent express poll revealed that people would prefer other royals ascend to the throne. Harsh, yes, but it's not completely without cause. William and Kate. Prince William and Duchess Kate and their three children are adored in England. In fact, a survey by BMG Research reveals that nearly half of British public want Prince Charles to step aside and give the throne to his oldest son now that the Queen has passed. Prince William and Duchess Kate have now been married for nearly a decade. The Atlantic calls them a fairy tale with their picture perfect family and their distinct lack of scandals. Plus, Prince William and Prince Harry are the most liked royals since records began. According to the Evening Standard, so it makes sense that people want to see the most liked royals on the throne. They said Prince Harry's popularity may have taken a bit of a hit since he and Meghan stepped back from their royal duties, but it's still there. Princess Diana is still in our hearts. Princess Diana once said that she wanted to be the queen of people's hearts, and that was very much proved to be the case. It's also a big reason many people don't like her ex. They still haven't forgave him for how he treated Diana during their ill-fated marriage. King Charles publicly admitted that he started having an affair with Camilla in 1986 while he was still married to Princess Diana. He also treated Princess Diana poorly on a number of occasions. But in hindsight, we are finding out that Princess Diana treated him poorly on multiple occasions too. So there's two sides to each story. He's considered a putulent king. If you peruse most of the best-selling books about the real life of the royals, you'll see that King Charles isn't exactly praised by biographers. Even those with a credible connection to the king are quick to point out his flaws. For example, Tom Bauer, the author of Rebel Prince, describes King Charles as being putulent and uncaring about the times when he causes harm. Some of his private rants and tantrums have been made public, further damaging his reputation. A longer reign shows consistency. His reign is inevitably going to be far shorter than the late queen's time on the throne. Well, King Charles was three years old when he became the heir apparent. He is now considering the late queen became queen when she was 25 years old. The fact that King Charles will have such a short reign concerns some people. Why? Because change on a grand scale can be scary while consistency gives people a sense of what to expect. His good work doesn't make headlines. Although the new King Charles does in fact put a lot of work in as a royal and doing his royal deeds, unfortunately biographers have depicted such a poor picture of him due to Diana and all his other scandals that a lot of the work he does doesn't in fact make headlines and it's not heard of due to the overlapping of the scandals he's been involved with. Therefore, his popularity doesn't grow with good work but decreases with scandals. Animals. Although King Charles has taken a stand on important environmental issues such as sustainability and climate change, he has fallen pitifully short on animal welfare issues, whereas Prince Harry chose not to participate in a grouse hunt recently. How heroic. King Charles has gone so far as to calling fox hunting romantic. Animals rights is growing topic of concern for Brits, so he is not going to win supporters by holding fast to those ideas and being vocal about them. Described as a snob, King Charles doesn't possess the charm and warmth that Princess Diana had. He comes across as a loaf, and the New Yorker even described him as a snob. Although it may be unfair to compare King Charles to those who haven't been raised to view protocol and proper behavior as such a priority, the king doesn't always seem to be eager to relate to ordinary people. Prince William, on the other hand, has reached out to people much as his mother did, and he has compassionate way about him. This is what many people want to see in a king. Afraid of failure. The role of a monarch is not one to be taken lightly by any means, and people fear that King Charles just doesn't have what it takes to rise to the occasion. Whether because of his personality traits or capabilities or something else entirely, if people don't have confidence that he will do a good job, it will be hard for them to go behind him. How do you think he's been doing? Security threats. Now that the king's in the spotlight, unfortunately the egg won't be the last time we see someone try to assault the king. Unfortunately, this is just a realisticality of having a fanatic group 
of supporters for Diana. And although it was a while ago this, these issues happened, in the spotlight now, this is gonna re-rise to the top. And we're gonna see a lot of people going against the now king. The late Queen Elizabeth had a lot of people on her side where the new king, Charles, doesn't. And this could raise a lot of security threats in the future, especially trying to proceed in his royal duties of doing walkabouts and charity funds and being out in the public. Now, I know there are gonna be taking security measures, but you can only be so careful, tragedy does happen. Thanks for watching.